What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be answering a quick question about the Samsung One UI 5.0 update slash Android 13 update. So I've been getting a lot of questions of Matt, is my phone going to get the update? And then the next question is, I haven't received the update yet. Now I actually get this question a lot and it's very common for um, Android users to not get the update um, all at once. So typically uh, now we can all sort of like chime in in the comments about this because I've always thought that was sort of a weak thing about um, Android because with iOS when an update is released like every iPhone like gets it like right on time like they all get it at the same time pretty much but with Android and, and even if the iPhone is on a different carrier uh, I still think they uh, I believe they all still come out on the same time um, so even if it's locked to like T-Mobile Verizon now with Android it's like a little bit slower because Android is a little bit more fragmented right um, so typically the carrier has to get the update and then push it to you right so if you have a S22 Ultra and you haven't gotten the update nine times out of ten it's gonna be a locked version right so Samsung sends out the update and then the carrier gets it and then the carrier has to send it to you so there'll be a, a slight delay in time now also I've had people that say Matt I have an unlocked uh, S22 Ultra right so I have an unlocked S22 Ultra too. this one was with um, actually I, I don't have my sim in this one actually I put it in another phone this one does not have any sim in it I just got the update now me personally now that's something that confused a lot of people too I bought an unlocked phone why am I not getting the update when everybody else gets it basically I think it's because it could be like time zone sensitive right so they might push the update update out so I'm in like a eastern time zone right so it could be that right but other than that I honestly don't know why uh, that's my best guess is that it's just Samsung is pushing it out via time zone alright so I want to go ahead and give you guys the update schedule so you guys can see right here because I get there's a lot of confusion about like who gets the update and when so you'll know right here this is Samsung's update schedule so October you should have either gotten it for the S22 series or you should be getting it very soon and then we come into November here are your list of devices so S21 series is going to get it so all of the S21 phones and the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra guys that will be getting Android 13 that will be the last major OS update for the Note 20 series as well the Note 10 Plus will not be getting Android 13 uh, the Android 12 is the last major OS, OS update for that and it will be getting security patches you can see the S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra so all those phones you can see the tablets as well too the Galaxy A53, A33 5G, and then December here are our list of devices. S20 FE, I'll be waiting for that. That I think that phone really needs the update. Um, A73, you can see more A53, A33. So you can expect that. All these you can expect in December. And then we have some other devices, Galaxy Jump and all that good stuff. January. Uh, it looks like Samsung is focusing more on the budget and mid-range phones for January so you can see the A13, A23 and then some of the older A-series phones will be getting the update as well and then February you guys can see that's when you can expect for these devices March and then April Galaxy A04 will be the last one um, so yeah so that will be the update schedule uh, for you guys now I definitely understand the frustration with not being able to get updates on time uh, just like for me um, with my like my one plus seven pro some people have gotten the Android 12 update I still haven't gotten it I've been you know refreshing and checking the update now the best thing that you can do for those who don't actually know how because sometimes the update will just randomly pop up right and it'll tell you to update but you can go to settings scroll all the way down software download and install and just check uh, for an update so you can see mine says up to date the last update was Android 13 if, so basically that's all you can pretty much do uh, there's no like and you know there are other ways to do it but it's much more complicated like you can side load it the update on there manually um, but like I said it, it is a little bit more complicated and I think it would be better just to wait it out anyway I think as soon as you probably end up doing it the update is going to probably push to your phone so um, yeah so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one